This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to replace a power supply on a PowerEdge 840 tower server. Um, so if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. In the description of this video, we are going to post a link to our PowerEdge 840 parts guide. Um, and this page will be very helpful to you because it gives you pretty much every part number you can think of for a PowerEdge 840 server. And it also gives you videos on how to replace virtually every part in the PowerEdge 840 server. Um, so if you uh, have a PowerEdge 840 um, and you plan on keeping it running for, for at least you know a few more years, um, bookmark this page. It'll be very, very helpful to you to maintain your PowerEdge 840 server. All right, so let's get to the actual uh, replacement. So we've got our PowerEdge 840 server here. And this server is going on about 9, 10 years old now. But it's a pretty classic uh, file server uh, that you'll see in a lot of small businesses. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our bezel and we will put our system on its side and remove the side panel. Alright, there's just one Phillips screw and you can remove that pretty easily normally with your thumb. Um, and now we are going to remove our fan baffle like so. All right, so there's a 24-pin power adapter, and then there's a 4-pin processor power adapter on the motherboard. So we're going to remove both of those first. Now, there's a little thumb piece that you'll push down, or you you know, it depends on what finger you want to use, but to release those motherboard cables. We'll unplug our Molex from the optical drive, and then this system had a hot plug backplane, so we have to unplug that. Looks like a 10 pin power to the hot, pl hot plug backplane. All right, now there's four screws. So we will go ahead and remove those screws and that'll allow us to actually pull the failed power supply out. All right, so once the screws are removed, we can easily remove that power supply because we've already uncabled it. And that is what the uh, power supply looks like if you need to purchase a replacement. We also post the part numbers uh, with some recommended vendors on GreenPCGamers.com blog page. All right, so now we just need to replace that power supply with a good one. All right, so now I mean it, it's pretty simple. You just need to reinstall it. So if you if you've forgotten on how to plug everything back in, uh, we're going to show you. So first thing we're going to do is actually screw our power supply back into place. And there are four Phillips screws. And then once we once we get all four screws in, we'll be able to plug in all of our power cables to the motherboard and our other devices that we have installed. Now they do make a cabled hard drive version version of this. So if you have that, you'll just um you'll just replug the 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 power back into the cable that splits it into either two or four drop. So it's same concept. Um, you just don't have a back plane. All right. So we're plugging uh, plugging our optical go drive back in. We've got our 24 pin motherboard and four pin CPU plugged back in, and our back plane is plugged back in. All right. Now we just need to put our fan baffle back on. And we need to put our side panel back on and our bezel back on. And once you've done that, there that's really that's really the extent of replacing a Power Edge 840 power supply. Now, you know, before you replace your power supply, you should absolutely check out and see if you have blow capacitors on your motherboard first before you replace the power supply. A lot of times people will replace the power supply when it's actually their motherboard that failed. Um, so check your motherboard for blown capacitors. If it, if it doesn't have blown capacitors, you're just not getting power, replace that power supply. Um, and this video shows you exactly how to do that. We do have another video on how to replace the system board um, if you're curious or if you need help with that. Um, so definitely if this video was helpful to you, um, subscribe to the channel, um, use our blog page as a resource, um, and definitely check out our, our, our other videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching.